Today we're hot wiring a car. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and okay disclaimer out of the way don't use this kind of information for malicious stuff. You know this is for if you're in a situation like me where you've got the steering column out of the car and it's a column start steering column that has the switch on it. Well I just did some work underneath it that I want to test out before I get this thing off the jack stands and so the easiest way to do it is just to hot wire especially because we're going back in with a tilt column that does not have the key on the column itself so we're going to have to relocate the ignition starter anyways the crazy thing about this is, is it, it only takes about four wires on these classic cars and this is the mechanism that is on the column itself that goes up to the key and it is driven by this rod as you turn the key forward now there's two <laughs> there's two anti-theft devices built into this one of them being there's a plate that goes behind here that kind of locks this out to keep you from being able to just turn it without a key and the other one is they mount this up in between the brake pedals so you can't get the connector off without taking the column out, whatever. So it is as easy as you see in the movies. Literally, guys, jerk a couple wires out, twist some together, and then tap them. We're going to do it right now. So let's dive underneath the, uh, whatever, the dash, and let's hot wire this car. Okay, hopefully you guys can see already. Uh, these are the connectors. These two, oh, that's the neutral safety switch. Uh, this connector and I must have cut the other one off are the ones that are plugged in and these are the four wires that we're going to need now Your pink and your brown are going to be your accessory and uh, Your I can't remember what the other one is But the red is always going to be your battery hot generally on these setups at least with GM So you can actually test these out if we go pink to brown Fuel pump and our fan kicks on uh, Red to brown I should say if we go pink to red well all the gauges kick on things like that radio will probably turn on here in a second so uh those are the big ones then the purple with white is our starting wire so let's go ahead give the carb a little gas we're going to turn all these systems on and twist them literally this is where you twist it and tape it together and we'll take our starter and we just hot wired a car yeah it's literally that easy And then we turned it off. So <laughs> if you are in a situation where, you know, you need to do this, as I said, zombie apocalypse is happening. Pretty good one there. Uh, it's not that hard. So just a quick fast how-to. I've got to check out. I put a new bung in for the wide band and I ran some new oil cooler lines for the transmission. I want to make sure that they don't leak so I don't have to redo all this work a thousand times over. But I thought you guys might find it interesting how to hotwire a car. I'm going to get back to it. As always, thank you for stopping by the garage. Remember... ABT, always be tuning.